Hi, this is Robin Moses, and I am here with uh, Gatorade. Hi. And I am going to do, okay, this might be the last time that I see Gatorade for a while because she's going to have her baby. So, I've started with Julie G. Bubble, uh, what is it, Castles and Cupcakes? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Cupcakes and Castles. And um, everybody tweet Julie and tell her to retweet that and to retweet this video because Cupcakes and Castles is a really pretty French manicure. And we're going in like this. And I'm going to, uh, just with a real soft brown, I'm just going in with twigs and uh, lots of different little, just go in every direction, very light, airy with my striping brush. On the other ones, I think I'm just gonna go along the side. Now, now here is what I'm doing. I'm doing it to where if she goes three weeks, if she goes a month, if she goes five weeks, <laughs> six weeks. <laughs> Don't say that. When, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if she does, it will last. It will be okay. I mean, they're, they'll be grown out at the top, but you're barely going to be able to show. And um, I cut her nails way down, so she'll be able to um, touch the new baby without cutting it. You know, just like, just you have to think ahead. And when you're thinking ahead for this, you have to make sure that everything's short, and when it grows out, all the grow out will be nice and even and it will still look nice okay all right now with green and brown i'm making a very dusty green olive green so i take this i take a sage green and add brown to it this is going to make it look antique-ish like the like the flowers are a little bit faded i mean the leaves there see how that cute and we're gonna do this. This is like a beginning of fall manicure. Almost, but the peach flowers are gonna really pop it out. And the peach, see, these are all kind of shiny and, mm -hmm. and iridescent. I'm gonna use a matte white so that the flowers stick out above the leaves. That way, it, when your nails grow out, the, the flowers will show over your cuticle grow out. Perfect. Exactly. Look at you all planning ahead. I know. It's called problem solving. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody doing pregnant ladies' nails, having babies, take all of this into consideration. Cut them down, round the corners, and do designs that are very neutral. So now I'm going in with some um, peach and pink and uh, peach, okay, yellow, orange, right, th right there. Then you mix that right here with some red and some white, okay? And you'll get a real flat peachy color that's bright. And then I'm going to put in the flowers. Le fleur. Right there. And they are gonna be just really, really girly. That's what I want. I want them to scream, I'm a girl. <laughs> because my house oh. is full of boys. Right, <laughs> you want to counteract all the testosterone, <laughs> the little bit of baby estrogen, <laughs> baby and nail estrogen, and um, it shall save me. Yeah, it'll remind her of the days of yore when she did get to hang around girls. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, we need a, we need a, um, a violinist right to play for us because we're probably a small one right because we are feeling sorry for ourselves i will miss gatorade during well i don't think you about she doesn't miss appointments though she just <laughs> like has a baby she pushes the baby out and comes for her nail appointment pretty much uh, okay <laughs> ready <laughs> not like some people undertaker <laughs> so now that i've said my piece Hey, I've quit a lot of things in my life, but I will not quit my nails. Yeah, if you talk to Undertaker, you tell her that I said her name on a video. <clears throat> there. I mean, it's not like she has other things to do or anything. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, do you see how I mixed a little tiny bit of red and a little tiny bit of white? That's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm going to finish this nail. Okay, now with... uh dark brown. I'm going to go in and do the centers of these 
and make them very, very vintagey looking. Is that a word, vintagey? It is now. It is. <laughs> <laughs> vintagey. Very soft and floral, like that. Then I'm going to add a little tiny bit of yellow to the same brown and make mm, a mustard of sorts, brownish mustard, and then just kind of go in and dot like that. Just now, if this nail grows out, you're not really going to be able to see too much problems. See? It's just going to be very surrealistic. I will meet you back. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm mixing up some Reflex Gold with some clear nail polish and I'm just going over the tops through them and make them look like they're just watery, catching light here and there. La 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 like that. And I'll meet you back. And here is the end result of Gatorade's Baby Having Nails. <laughs> <laughs> they're very neutral, they're very soft and subtle, and, and when they grow out, they're going to grow out really nice, and she's going to, I mean, she can really go with, for these with like five weeks or so, and um, I've coated them with Dazzle Dry. Um, where is my Dazzle Dry top coat? There it is. Dazzle Dry top coat. Wonderful. It won't, it won't nick and it won't peel. And anyways, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you back with more. Please uh, spread the word, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.